So let's go into my new favorite topic. Why catching Kyogre is the hardest f Why game modes are killing FPS games. Making them dead games. Because that's what killing means. Let's look at the big picture here. We have our industry leading games and we have our struggling games. I'm gonna go ahead and convert this to PC only so that means Call of Duty moves to struggling and Halo moves to a different universe. First we have to look at what is making the leader successful and the struggler struggle. Now do the struggle. Nate, what year is this? Are you also listening to Thrift Shop on your iPod Touch? Games like Titanfall and Call of Duty are huge names that everyone recognizes, yet they struggle to hold up, on PC at least, and here's why. They both struggle when it comes to the game modes. They offer way too many and haven't built the player base because they've lost it, like Call of Duty, or they never built it in the first place on PC, like Titanfall. This is where we learn from those who did it right. I believe Blizzard's execution in releasing Overwatch was perfect to foster the game's health. Give people one way to play. Okay, I'm gonna cut in here real fast and share this high resolution photo. We had more than quick play on launch. We did have the brawl game mode, but everyone knew Overwatch as just quick play. One thing everybody can understand, it's simple and well done. And after you build an enormous player base, adding arcade modes and different ways to play are fun but you have to build the player base first. Titanfall! All right, so we're gonna do one of those things we used to do back in like 2008 here on YouTube, and that's actually physically filming the screen. So Titanfall is a fantastic game, but it can't build a player base on PC. Here are the issues. When it comes to game modes, when you're at the multiplayer, you'll see I hit find game. So now you see this screen. Yeah, you should see my hand and my Vincero watch. The Vincero quality and craftsmanship, it's almost apparent. When you see this screen, you are hit with Play multiplayer, Aegis Titan Brawl, Private Match Beta, Call of Duty, Beta, Coliseum, Frontier Defense Co-op, Frontier Defense Insane, which I haven't even unlocked yet apparently. Too many game modes. Man, I didn't mean to just punch you right there, but too many game modes for real. And as if you can see it kind of here on the bottom, we'll spiel Bergio this again, as my friends would say. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different ways to play the game on top of all of the different, the one, two, three, four, five, six modes you have, you have all of the different game modes and game types. It's too many. We need to get this down to one or two. I really want Titanfall 2 to have a player base or Titanfall 3 if they ever end up making one. These are great games and I really want them to succeed, but this is what is holding, hmm? But this is holding you back because it doesn't give one certain image in a player's mind. And this is what's hurting the game. Lawbreakers, again, did it perfect. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, sorry. Uh, Overwatch, again, did it perfectly. And this is where developers should learn from the success of Blizzard's execution. They release Overwatch with one game mode, and then many updates later, they add different and new ways to play. And at the end of the day, looking on it now, it's still not that many game modes. And Counter-Strike is the same way. Everyone knows Counter-Strike as the round-based bomb game, but there are other modes as well. Fortnite, PUBG, Realms Royale, H1Z1. Oh shoot, H1Z1 died. But it used to be super popular. They are all incredibly successful one game mode games. And I think the key here is that on PC, you need to bring people in to know a game for one thing. If you want to build a player base, you have to start with one or minimal game modes, adding more over time, but never launching with multiple. And by the way, Microsoft, this problem we have on PC with a lot of games can be solved immediately if you let us Windows users on PC play with Xbox players because then the player base is gigantic for every game and everyone can enjoy everything and also you are Microsoft how are we in 2018 without a real Halo game released on